Beyonce has long been regarded as the queen of pop music, but there are some celebrities who will strongly disagree. First off, we have Taylor Swift. Swift and Beyonce seem to be on good terms now, constantly photographed at award shows together and supporting each other's concert movies. But years ago, Taylor and Queen B had some tension formed between them by Kanye West. As Taylor Swift was giving her best female video acceptance speech for You Belong With Me at the 2009 MTV Awards, Kanye went on stage, took the microphone from her and said, yo Taylor, I'm really happy for you, I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. Referring to the music video for Single Ladies. As the live audience booed him, Kanye handed the microphone back to Taylor, shrugged his shoulders and walked off stage. Next up we have Carrie Hilson. The beef started back in 2009 after Carrie's Beyonce diss track surfaced. Your vision cloudy if you think you the best. You can dance, you can sing, but need to move it to the left. She sang, she needs to go have some babies. She needs to sit down. She fake. Them other chicks ain't even worth talking about. The R&B singer remained tight-lipped about her alleged 2009 diss track for years, but many believe the turn on me lyrics mentioned qualities that hinted towards Beyonce. Many believed Carrie dissed Beyonce with the lines about moving it to the left, and this seemed to be a reference to Beyonce's 2006 song Irreplaceable. According to a report in Cheat Sheet in 2011, the Carrie Hilson Beyonce beef reached newer heights when Carrie refused to hold the newest issue of Juicy Magazine after noticing Beyonce and Jay Z were on the cover. The internet then began to hate on Hilson for the evil way she has been treating Beyonce. As the internet hate grew severe and became unbearable, Carrie took to Twitter in 2013. The singer wrote, You have no idea what your hateful words could do to someone's spirit. Years of verbal abuse from strangers all day long, enough is enough. Next, let's discuss Beyonce's alleged rude restaurant behavior. Multiple servers have made an assortment of claims about her. Although Beyonce might seem down to earth at times, she also also has a 70 million dollar yacht, so it makes sense that there might be some stories of her behaving in a rude matter. In 2002 and 2006, a waitress says that Beyonce was very, very rude to her. According to the post on Quora.com, she first encountered the singer at Papa De, a restaurant in Houston, Texas, and Beyonce wouldn't look her in the eyes. Solange, Beyonce's sister, was nice, but Beyonce wasn't, she says. The waitress also came across Beyonce in 2006 at the NBA All-Star Game, which took place at the Houston, Texas Center. As the server posted, again, incredibly rude. I get you are famous, but a true queen has class. So in my opinion, Queen B, or whatever she's called, can kiss my you-know-what. There's another story out there about a restaurant order connected to Beyonce. A According to LouisvilleFuture.com, Beyonce was signing at the KFC Yum Center in December 2013, and Beyonce and the people working for her ordered a ton of food. Someone who worked for her came into a restaurant called Highlands Buffalo Wild Wings and paid for the $900 bill. The order was four salads, five burgers, fish tacos, fried shrimp, 20 chicken tenders, more than 100 wings, and more than 100 boneless wings. The problem? Not only did Beyonce's employee not leave any tip, which is impossible to believe when the restaurant bill is almost one grand, but they weren't polite when ordering either. Mahogany Lucas, the cashier, even gave the employee free food, and there wasn't a tip there either. They said the employee was very rude and demanded the food be ready soon. Next, we have Kim Kardashian, who allegedly is not a fan of Beyonce. It's well known that Beyonce and the Kardashians are not friends, and it's believed the reason for this is because Jay-Z and Kanye's ongoing feud. The power couple didn't attend Kim and Kanye's wedding, despite Jay-Z previously being his mentor and a main player in kickstarting his career. In April 2018, Kanye told radio host Charlemagne that thank God their feud began after the couple snubbed his wedding. According to Page Six, sources told the publication that Beyonce, who keeps most of her family life private, didn't like that Kanye was participating in keeping up with the Kardashians. Beyonce always gives Kanye a lot of grief whenever he 
does anything for the show, they said. Another source told the publication that Kim and Kanye's obsession with fame irritates Beyonce. And Beyonce reportedly owned Kim K in a tense phone call. Beyonce flipped out on Kim when Kim called her to try and soothe tensions after Kanye's 2016 hospitalization, a source told the website. Basically, she told Kim to never ever contact her or her husband again and said stuff like she thought that the two of them are made for each other because they're both talentless and Pathetic. Next up, we have Wendy Williams. When Beyonce was set to release her HBO special, Life is But a Dream, Wendy Williams was quick to say, I am a Beyonce fan. I'm gonna watch her upcoming documentary because fortunately, one of the TVs in our kitchen has closed captioning. So I'll be able to understand <laughs> what she says. The audience began laughing nervously before Wendy went in for the kill. You know, Beyonce can't talk. She sounds like she has a fifth grade education, she says. This did not go over well at all with William's audience, who responded with several boos. Excuse me, I just said I was a fan, she said, but we have to call a spade a spade. Next up, we have Azalea Banks. Azalea has a lot to say about everything and anything except her own music that apparently is not doing too hot. In 2016, following the release of Beyonce's album Lemonade, Banks was quick to respond to writer Tanisi Coates' praise of the singer's work. I don't think for a second that Beyonce was intelligent enough to come up with any of those ideas on her own, she tweeted. But there is an update on the drama as just a few weeks ago, Azalea made another comment about her. Beyonce announced details of her new album, Renaissance Act 2, during the Super Bowl. And as soon as the commercial concluded, Beyonce released the project's first two singles, Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriages. And the banjo twang of the former and the slow pacing of the latter both seemed to confirm ongoing speculation. Beyonce was planning on releasing a country flavor album. Now, Azalea has spoken up, warning her fellow performer that she was making a mistake. In an Instagram stories post, she said about the new material, there's nothing country about it. You're setting yourself up to be ridiculed again. There's a theatrical element to country music. The critics are not just going to accept an ugly blonde wig and bullying from Jay-Z. It's giving big time musical grift. Yes, black girls can make country music, she continued, but you're just really not hitting the button. Next up, we have the controversial Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani, the former mayor of New York City, took issue with Beyonce's 2016 Super Bowl halftime show. During the performance, she debuted her single Formation and paid homage to the Black Panthers, Malcolm X, and the Black Lives Matter movement. Giuliani interpreted her show as an affront to law enforcement. This is football, not Hollywood, Giuliani told Fox and Friends after the big game. I thought it was really outrageous that she used it as a platform to attack police officers who are the people who protect her and protect us and keep us alive. Giuliani argued that the Super Bowl is for middle America and that the NFL should be providing, quote, decent, wholesome entertainment to that audience rather than political messages. Giuliani's criticism of Beyonce received serious backlash of their own. Included on that list, former Destiny's Child group member Kelly Rowland said in an interview with Us Weekly that, quote, Giuliani should just shut up. Next up, we have actress Sonia Lathan was accused of flirting with Jay-Z and biting Beyonce in the face at a party in December 2017. Yes, you heard that right. Comedian Tiffany Haddish told GQ that an unnamed actress was getting too close for comfort to Jay-Z at a party, so Beyonce allegedly intervened. And by intervened, we mean she supposedly said, Jay, come here, this B-word, and snatched him. At least, that's how Tiffany Haddish remembers it. Haddish said one of Beyonce's friends later told her that this B word just bit Beyonce. Wow. Next up, we have Kid Rock, the born free and cowboy rocker, threw some serious shade at Beyonce in an interview with Rolling Stone. He told the music magazine that he is, quote, flabbergasted by the attention she receives. Beyonce, to me, doesn't have an effing purple rain, but she's the biggest thing on earth, he said. How can you be that big without at least one sweet home Alabama or old time rock and roll? People are like, Beyonce's hot. She's got a nice effing butt. I'm like, cool, I like skinny white chicks. Doesn't really effing do much for me. Beyonce has not responded to Kid Rock's offensive remarks. However, Beyonce fans called the Beehive have taken action to defend their Grammy Award winning queen in a way only the Beehive could by flooding his Instagram page with bee emojis. And then Kid Rock later posted a photo of bee repellent. 
Yikes. Lastly, we have Fox News presenter Bill O'Reilly, the famously right-wing host, labeled Beyonce's video for the song Partition as, quote, exploitative garbage and suggested it will encourage pregnancy among teen African-American females. Wow. Thank you guys for watching. That's today's video. Subscribe for more Celebra Tea.